All right, so now we are connected to our oven and we are going to talk about what kind of things that we can do with our Easy Zone configurator. So the Easy Zone configurator is kind of set up in sort of the Windows standard with little expander buttons to open up the four main menus of the Easy Zone setup, operation, factory, and profile. I highly recommend to all my customers that they stay out of the top three, setup, operations, and factory, unless they're advised by myself or my service organization to go into these menus. The only place that I recommend that you go into is what you're going to need to do is if you'd like to edit profiles. So the um, as we all know that you can drag and drop things accidentally so if you are in any of these menus and in some of the stuff that I've set up like analog inputs you see how when you click on it it expands if you go in here and you accidentally click something or type a number then you are live on your oven and you will change a setting which might uh, cause your oven to behave inappropriately and um, that will be uh, unfortunate for you so let's stay out of these menus so most of the, our ovens are set up to run profile one so you can see that the easy zone has four profiles and each profile has ten steps one two three and four most of the time the oven is set up to run profile one when you press the easy one button so we will talk about editing these first 10 steps. So we just click on a step and you will see that currently I am in step one of profile one and it is set up as an unused step. We will see that if we click on the step type you can see that step type when we're unused is bold showing that it's the only thing available to be changed right now. All these other settings are ghosted and you, they're not available. Just step type because it's an unused step. So usually, almost all of our ovens, we start a profile with a time step. And you'll see when we click on the time step and we wait for a second, based on how fast your USB port is and how fast it's communicating, you'll see that these these change into bold. These bold entries are the ones that are now available with this step type. So we'll see that in a time step we can set the temperature, the time, and events. We can see that if we change to something else like a soak step that it changes and now we still have time and event, but we don't get to choose temperature because we're just soaking. So you see, that's kind of the difference between each of the step types. Dan did a great job showing you what you can do with the Easy Zone Configurator software and your new Cascade Tech oven. I hope that you learned a little bit about setting up profiles and you also paid attention to the things maybe you shouldn't be doing with the configurator. If you get stuck along the way or you'd like more details on step types or profiles or whether or not you have events that need to be on or off, please feel free to give me a call. I'd be more than happy to walk you through it over the phone. Again, thank you for coming by Cascade Tech and have a great day.